The Supreme Court has in a unanimous 9-0 decision affirmed its April 13 decision that granted an injunction against Asen North MP James Dachi Kwesin. The court on April 13 restrained Mr. Kwesin from holding himself as a member of parliament for the constituency. Michael Ankoman Infa, a resident of the constituency, had urged the court to give effect to the Cape Coast High Court judgment and prevent a further breach of the constitution by restraining the MP. The Apex Court agreed with him, but lawyers for the MP filed another application urging the court to set aside the injunction. The court has dismissed this application. Court correspondent Joseph Akablay has been speaking with Deputy Attorney General on this. That on the issue of the decision restraining the first defendant from holding himself out as an MP, the first defendant through its lawyers, through his lawyers, had failed to clearly surmount the conditions for the part of it. So we are very happy with it. I mean, back in April, the expectation was that this will be determined expeditiously, a substantive matter. Unfortunately, we've been told of an incident, that means that we are coming back in July. I mean, the people are still without a member of parliament. You are the minister be of concern to you. It is quite unfortunate that as you heard in open court, one of the panel members has uh, lost uh, the father for which we send out our deepest condolences. Of course, you will agree with me that some of these events are unpredictable. And as you clearly also heard the Honorable Chief Justice uh, state that should the situation call for um, a, a substitution of the panel member, he's ready to do it. This demonstrates um, the CJ's um, willingness clearly we are satisfied with the court's ruling as you are aware the applicant filed a review application imploring the court to review its decision on 13th april 2022 whereby the court granted an interlocutory injunction restraining um, the first defendant from holding the summer and answer both we S1254 of the Supreme Court rules in seeking a review of the court's decision. One has to found his argument to application under one of the two grounds for invoking the review jurisdiction of the court. In fact, it is one thing stating that the court needs to review his application, it's another.